when I was in Uzbekistan in the city of Tashkent, which is just a little bit north of India, Surya Temple, huge, huge temple for the worship of Surya, Surya Dev, which is now, of course, abandoned and derelict. So the devotees there, they took me to a shrine of a Sufi saint. And we were both in plain clothes, and there was one Muslim person there, one Sufi praying. And as he got up, he, he told us that today is a very fortunate day. I see that you have come here to this tomb of this saint, and I know you're devotees of Krishna, and you're chanting God's names. And I very much appreciate that. So today, by Allah's grace, I'd like you to invite you to my home to, to share a meal with me. And I pray that all your spiritual desires will be fulfilled. So I was very touched because I was in a different country, this is a follower of a different religion, and he didn't know me, but he made me feel very welcome. He made me feel very accepted and very much loved. Whereas in other times, just to give you another example, uh, being in a certain temple and a senior citizen walked up to me and because I start looking a little bit older, so he asks me, are you a disciple of Srila Prabhupada? And I say, no. So he just turned around and walked away from me. And I felt like, did I say something wrong? <laughs> like, like, you know, like in these days, racism is, is a big topic. But oftentimes we're not aware of, of how this uh, tribalism and racism and territorialism is a very strong underlying current because of whatever conditioning that we may identify ourselves with. So when we read Chaitanya Charitamrita and Chaitanya Bhagavat, we see what you have described as a multi-guru environment where people of different spiritual masters are living together and I just like to mention two very striking points which is in the Ratayatra at Puri where there is seven different groups performing kirtan with their own leaders with their own instruments but Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is actually present in all the seven groups mm. and he's encouraging them all equally so I found that very striking and very encouraging how ISKCON is expanding, and we have literally devotees in all continents and in all countries. <laughs> mm. And that Srila Prabhupada would be very pleased if, as he noticed, that it was Bhaktivinoda Thakur's dream that the Bengalis, together with the Russians and the Prussians, the Germans and the Americans and all the other devotees who chant Jai Sachinanda Nagora Hari. Hmm. So that was his vision, that was his dream, that was his aspiration. 